Bonjour, mademoiselles and monsieurs. Uh, I don't know if that was right. I hope it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Debbie, and welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Debbie um, is too big for her britches because <laughs> she has been to Paris. Actually, I should have said bonsoir. It's oh, afternoon. Bonsoir, bonsoir everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they don't I don't know I everyone. Speaking. I don't know. I just learned bonsoir and bonjour and merci. I know okay. those. That's, that that's means about thank these. you, right? Yeah, that's about the extent. I know what here means because in yeah. French class we had to answer the role. Easy. 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 I do remember that. Now let's <laughs> yeah. just say that. I had two years of French, but I had uh, it's one year me. and <laughs> I remember easy. That's pretty much it. But welcome. We're going to do some cooking. We haven't cooked in a little while. No. Uh, we've had some some sad things going on, and we've been busy working and lost some family members, unfortunately. And um, thank you all for your sweet comments. Um, it really helps. You know, it's um, I lost my sister, and then a week later, my niece to COVID. So um, COVID COVID is a scary thing out there. It really it. is, and these are hard times, y'all. So do whatever you can to keep yourself and your families safe. For sure. Um, but anyway, but Debbie has been in France. I spent uh, a week there. Uh -huh. It's Paris has been the top of my list really? for my whole life. And uh, as a kid, when yeah. we were kids, um, I loved. You always wanted to I go. I always wanted to go. I always thought about it. I always wanted to. And I had the opportunity, and I, I went. Yeah. So it was well, fun. I got to see all the top sites mm -hmm. and uh, a few uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I brought well, something back. I know that you um, took a macaron yes, class. Yes, it was macaron. so fun. Is that how you say I, it? That's, that's more macaron. like, I say macaroon. Because we're from the <laughs> south and it's a macaroon down here. I can't repeat how they say it. They got that, they got that throaty sound mm -hmm. and it's really pretty. The language is a beautiful, French language I is beautiful. It. it's so romantic. Yes. Speaking yes. of romantic, French, um, I mean, Paris was a romantic place I guess. Uh, that, and I've always been kind of a romantic person. Uh -huh. I, I always, yes you have. You know, Debbie. That's just how I am. But you're just an old soft. Uh, I am. But mm -hmm. anyway so we yes we did do a macaroon, a macaroon. class. We made macaroons. Um, that was so much fun. Had a great um, time doing <clears> that. Yes. Did you bring me one? They, they kind of didn't make it past the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid but we're going to try to make some. Yes, we will. I learned how some. to do it, so we're going to try to make some. Okay. So that way I'm we'll, excited because we'll I'm a baker, y'all, and I love, and I've been wanting to bake um, to try macaroons for a long time. And just These have are it different. Now, this is, not brave the, enough. this is not the coconut macaroon. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is I thought it was a true coconut macaron. Stuff. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. You mean like they have at Chinese <laughs> restaurants on the well, buffet? They, the coconut with chocolate on I know it. What you're That's talking my about. kind of macaron. Yeah, I know. I know. And you can make them that way. Yes. But I know what you're talking yes. about. The French yes. macaron. But yeah. I did bring back uh, something for you. You did? I brought you an apron. Oh my goodness! Uh, from Paris. Yay. It came all the way. Oh it has all the top sights on it. The Eiffel Tower, Art de Triumph. I saw all That's of That's why you told me not to put on an apron. I told you not to put your apron on, Aww. yes. And okay. I brought one for me. Oh, wait, I gotta take my glasses. <laughs> Figure out how to put your apron on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I brought one for me. Oh, like Again, I got soon. the Eiffel Tower, Moulin Rouge. I feel like the French, French chef stuff. now. Yes. I'm gonna have to start making up some crepes. <laughs> we did have crepes too. Now they were. I like those better uh -huh. than the macaroons. They yeah. crepes were really good. Well, you know, um, later tonight I'm going to make a pie, but it's not a French pie. It's more of an Italian pie. But that's okay. Oh yeah. In France, it would be called a what tart. Don't they yeah. call them tarts? Um, Pies tarts. I think that, yes, we had the best place beside us, too, that had mm -hmm. these little uh, tarts, y'all. They had, it was a tart, mm -hmm. and it had a filling inside of it, and strawberries that were huge laying on mm -hmm. top of it mm -hmm. with a glaze on it. And oh. yes, I had a was couple Was it one of those them. clear glazes? Yes. Oh my yes. Goodness. I want to so learn good. how to make those, too. <laughs> it was okay. so good. Okay, so guys, we're going to get started cooking. What are we cooking tonight, Debbie? Well, we're making an omelet roll. Have you ever made a roll? Uh, I've made a pumpkin roll. Okay. So you kind of know how these things work. Yes. They're kind of scary. I saw them. Mm -hmm. Here's a picture. This is actually, there's a picture of what we're going to make. Although, okay. this has got ham in it. Ours is going to have sausage Good. in it. Good. I like, I like sausage. I was, I always wanted to make these rolls. 
But I thought, well, there's no way that's going to be too hard to mm -hmm. make. But well, it's not. It's not. Okay. It is well, let's not try hard it. at all. So we're going to make one. Now, is this a pampered um, chef recipe? It is a pampered chef recipe, but I've adjusted a little bit. I, I find out myself doing that a lot of times. So that's why I said this is called a ham and cheese omelet roll, but we're calling it tonight well, sausage and cheese. And you know, um, we we like to experiment in the kitchen, and we you know we've told you before we don't like to measure a whole lot, so. We are just going to uh, make this recipe your own, right? We, exactly. And don't be afraid to do that. I was mm -hmm. always afraid to do that until the last afraid. few years. So, because you know, I, I was, I don't know, I thought whatever it said in the recipe is what it had to be. You know but what I happens learned, you when know. you get old? You get brave. <laughs> are, you, are you saying we're old? Um, well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm old. Oh, thank <laughs> yes, you. Yes, we, we are. You are a little bit older than me. Just a tad, a yes. <laughs> Yeah, a um, little bit, a little bit more than that. But okay, that's okay. You're only as old as you feel. That's right. Okay, so that. what we're doing is Mo is gonna uh, break the eggs. Actually, okay. she's gonna splat the eggs. My son Josh used to call it splatting the splatting eggs. Splatting the eggs. So okay. she's gonna splat twelve eggs 12 into her eggs. bowl. Okay, let me get something to put the. And while she's doing that, I'm cooking sausage, and I got just a, a pound of sausage at the grocery store. Um, use whatever kind you like. I usually get the cheapest kind because I hate those prices of sausage have gone just crazy. Um, a lot of things have, if you've noticed. I know a whole lot of things. So she's cook she's uh, splatting the eggs for me, <laughs> and we're going to mix oh, them up. Bit. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> I'm splat when he was the little, egg. he that's what he called it. So, and now this recipe calls for onion, green onions. You know the mm -hmm. green onions you buy at the grocery store. Well, some I forgot call those. Them scallions. Scallions, yes. Or they're really scallions, but some people call them green onions. <laughs> well, I forgot those, so I just peeled and chopped up a regular onion, and I'm cooking it with my sausage. I'll just let you see. It's perfectly done. Um, this is sausage with onions in it. We're going to um, let that brown a little bit more, and uh, I'm, let me tell you what we're going to cook the uh, omelet roll in. Um, you need a eight and a half by eleven pan with sides, and you gotta have parchment paper. So is that like a jelly roll pan? That, well, I really don't know what a jelly roll pan is. I don't have one. You got what one. I have is a stoneware bar Ooh, pan. Bar pan. Bar pan. Okay, gotcha. This is and it's an eight and a half by eleven size, and it has sides. And what you will do is take that parchment paper and put it into your pan and kind of mash it down in the pan and leave some on the ends of your pan because you're going to use that to help you roll after the eggs are cooked. So that's getting your pan ready. So Mo's got her eggs splatted okay. and now she's going to I'm going to use my up. handy dandy whisker. This is not a pan for chef product. I don't know what it is really. I'm going to add salt. I'm just eyeballing the salt. Eyeballing it. Yeah. And pepper. Well, these are the greatest things. My son found this for me. He, they are battery operated grinders. I love them. <laughs> just turn it over and it grinds and it your it pepper and your salt for you. Yeah. But where did he get these? These are from Amazon. Okay. You found them on Amazon. Salt and I pepper grinders that have. Oh, me too. I love it the makes smell. A big difference, yeah. doesn't it? Yes, for sure. Okay, the next thing that Mo is going to do is we have another bowl going, and I have um, I had already taken out some uh, cream cheese. It takes a half of an eight ounce, so four ounces of cream cheese. I've already softened it. Just let it sit out for a little while, and it's gotten pretty soft. See. Okay, what am I going to do to that? So to the cream cheese bowl, you're going to add milk. That's three-fourths cup of milk. She's putting that in. And two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. That's going in. And just take your spoon and stir that up. Okay. So I'm using sausage. You don't have to use sausage. If you like ham, use ham. Use and at all, it's yeah. just regular ham, and you're gonna just chop it up in smaller pieces. You could use bacon. Uh, bacon would be really good. Yeah, just cook the bacon yeah. and chop it up and sprinkle it on. What if you wanted to do like 
chicken or hamburger. Meat. Sure, why not? Could you do that? You can. You can get. You can use whatever you want to. Uh, veggies. A uh, veggie omelet roll would be Ooh, good. Yeah. Bell peppers, onions. Out there? You could do uh, that. Mushrooms. All those great things would be great. So. Oh my <laughs> Most splattering a little bit, but that's okay. So <laughs> a little now, bit, yeah, just a little bit. After she's got this mixed up, we're going to pour it's in. It's still the pretty eggs. lumpy. Okay. Stir a little bit. You might want to use a whisk. whisk that's in it, what I'm thinking. That's what I'm. We're just, you're just gonna stir it up. Okay, it, I use this whisk. Yes, because it's the eggs are going into it too. So. Oh, looky that. here, looky here. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. You're just gonna mix it, mix them up, and then you're gonna pour the eggs <laughs> in <laughs> to the uh, milk mixture. Okay. And then over here, I have some cheese. And now I'm gonna Once put I the eggs. Pour into that the... in, and then mix okay. them up together. Yeah. Right. Here goes the eggs into the mm -hmm. milk mixture. Okay. So she's gonna mix that up. Now I'm going to shred some cheese. So what is an omelet without cheese, right? Oh yeah. The recipe we says the I have a block of cheese of cheddar. This is actually extra sharp cheddar. Okay. And I have a pampered chef cheese grater. Okay. And I'm just going to grate some cheese. Mm -hmm. I, I do this every time. I love to grate my own cheese instead of buying a package of cheese. Leave it there, Mo, because we're going to, yeah, right there. We're going to pour this into this pan here in just a second. Mm -hmm. But grate your own cheese every single time you can. It's oh, healthier. Yeah. Definitely. You're, it tastes better. Do a taste test. Get get okay. some out of a package <laughs> and taste some you've grated. You will see it's so much better. Really good. And you're just going to grate up about six ounces. So this one is a... a a large block, so I'm going to grate about half of this cheese. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Good cheese. What kind is that? This is extra sharp. This is uh, more like my land blend. I like it. I like yeah. it as sharp as I can get it. And that's just the store brand, isn't it? Yes, it is the store brand. Are you not me? You just get what's on sale. A lot of times, that's most things. There's some things that I like a certain brand. Yeah, me Peanut too. butter is one of them. Yeah. Me so too. look, here is my grated cheese. And doesn't that look so much prettier than what you get in the package? Yeah, it definitely does. Well, you know, in the package, it's got a lot of preservatives and stuff in it. Yeah. No preservatives here. Fresh, no. fresh, freshly grated just cheese. cheese. Really, okay. really yummy. So now, what are we gonna do? Okay. So I'm gonna put the cheese. We're gonna put the cheese aside for a second. Let me just put it into a measuring cup here. And what we're gonna do now is put the egg mixture into our pan. So let me turn the camera down okay, so you can see. Ready? It's ready, yes. Still got a few little and that's okay. Lumps. That's okay. It might be a Uh oh. I dropped you. I'm so sorry. Is it still going? Yes, it's still going. All right. Mo's going to <laughs> pour the egg mixture. Okay. I'm going to pour the egg mixture. Right mm -hmm. here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me fix this. Fix our paper. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Pour it in. The egg mixture. How many cooks does it take to? <laughs> Fill up a pan. Okay. So there is our egg into the pan with the parchment paper. You don't I have really to spray the parchment paper. You don't have to do anything to it. Now it's going to go into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. Just like this. You, yes, but you have to be extra, extra careful when putting this into the oven because as you carry it over, it could... You could splatter. So oh. we're, we're going to pause for a few minutes while this cooks, about 30 minutes. All right. And we'll be back to show it to you and finish we'll be it right up. back, y'all. Hey, we're back, and the egg is out of the oven. It took, it cooked a lot quicker than the recipe actually said. Okay. Um, it, it about the 15 act, minutes or something? That's what it seemed like, unless time was going by a lot quicker than it felt. But it said uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Well, if you, you, you know, ovens are different, you just have to watch it. Yeah. And when your egg is, is, will not, um, well, yeah, well, then you know it's done. Yeah. So this one's not wobbling anymore. So I'm going to turn the camera down. Okay. Hopefully not drop it. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Good. So now you can see, see it's not wobbling. When you I've, got on there. I've already put some cheese on it. I should have okay. waited, but I was, I forgot that I, there's one more step that you have to do because it's, it really makes a difference. Um, and it's Dijon mustard. 
Two Dijon tablespoons. Mustard. Tablespoons, yes. Not gray poupon. No, I agree. Although that might be good, actually. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and spread it out. Pretty good. So you I get saw, a little bit in every bite. I saw a meme the other day that said, <clears throat> when I was a kid, I thought this was the epitome of wealth and sophistication. <laughs> and it showed a bottle of gray poupon. <laughs> I was that, that way. Was I mean, that's what I know. That you know, commercial, that rich people like that. that commercial <laughs> made us think that. So, excuse me. Do you have any green? <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Not about that anyway, forever. I know. So normally you would put the Dijon on good. and then the spread Dijon. your cheese, but okay. I forgot that. So. Well, you can put more cheese. I think I will. Okay. Just drop a little bit more, but I'm also going to put some on top. So. Oh, okay. So you know, I love cheese and I cheese with too. eggs. So. Um, and that I, cheese I it melted about, on it. Yes, that's what. That's why I wouldn't go ahead and do hot. that. I like yeah. it melted. Then you have your meat mixture. So in our case, we've got sausage, sausage. and I yep. put the onions in with it this time. So just spread your I sausage. I love that little scooper. Yeah, isn't that cool? You that can drain. Uh -huh. So it's a pound of sausage, and I chopped up one onion, and it's not very greasy Did at all. Did you use so. mild or what? Um, or hot sausage. Sausage, it was mild. Okay. You could but use you whatever you like. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. Just use whatever you like. Okay. Some like sausage is on. <laughs> All right, here is the thing you gotta see. So it's a little it's not too hot now. It's been out for a few minutes and it has cooled. So now we want to roll it. Let me get my plate that we're gonna put it on. <clears throat> How hard is this going to be, Debbie? It shouldn't. You know, we're on camera, so something will probably happen, but it should go easily. So let's see. So what you're going to do with your parchment paper is it's going to help you roll. Oh, yeah. So just kind of, you got to kind of use your parchment paper to kind of help you lift it up mm -hmm. and get it started. And it, it is still pretty warm, so yep. it's going to be hard to touch, oh, but yeah. you're only going to have to touch it right here in the beginning. And then use your parchment paper, once you get that top part down and kind of tight, it up. Yeah. then you use your parchment paper just to pull it and roll. You see how it's oh rolling? Isn't that just the coolest that thing you've ever saw? That is the coolest saw? thing. And if you're wondering about why it looks, it's eggs, but it had oh, pepper in it, salt and pepper. So that's what you're seeing there. Oh, yeah. Pepper. So I've got well, a lot of sausage brown pepper. in there. It looks like my sausage is kind of oh probably going to come out the end. So what I do mm. is get it close to the end, and then I grab the other end mm -hmm. of my parchment paper, and I'm going to carry it over to whatever I'm going to put it on. So right here, and I'm going to help. I want that um, edge on the bottom, right. hopefully, so it'll stay close. Yes, exactly. How so there we go. A roll. Let me just get my paper out. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Now, I'll set, you can set it right there in the same spot. Okay. Then, we're going to put some more cheese on top. Let's turn it where we see the end. Yes. Look at the end, We're going to cut it. I want to cut it. It's like a jelly it. roll. I put, and what I would do is put more cheese on top and set it back in the oven just for a minute for this cheese to melt. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, I want to cut it in half so you can see. So you have a little plate. I'll just cut out a little piece of yep. it and we'll lay it on a plate so you can then see how sure. pretty it is. And I can do this, so let me see. Okay, I got it right here. Open it up. Now, you can kind of see right there let me cut a piece though, and then you can really see. Yeah, cut a piece. So we're gonna cut a piece right here. So we're gonna eat this for dinner. Mm -hmm. Do you eat breakfast for dinner sometimes? I have sometimes. Yeah. I love this for dinner. Yep. Or for breakfast. Well, guess what I'm gonna put on it? Salsa? Yes. yes. <laughs> Homemade salsa. Salsa is perfect on it. So look. Oh my goodness. Isn't this so pretty? There is our sausage and egg roll. I made these for a wedding uh, brunch one time. Uh, it was a it was a sh wedding shower, and we had this for brunch. Put a, if you have some more cheese, you can put a little more cheese on that. And we're gonna add salsa to it. And you can here you can also see how good it looks in the middle. I almost dropped it. Look. Isn't that pretty? That is awesome. Isn't it pretty? We're gonna try a bite. Of course. See? So Mo's got homemade salsa yes, I do. that we're gonna put on, and we've got 
I'm gonna get a couple of forks. I'll move, move her camera up because I know you want to see her face. Um, so I make this at home throughout, you know, from time to time. But it's really, really perfect for a uh, Christmas morning breakfast. We we have it almost every Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Okay, here's your fork. Okay, here's my fork. So let's I'm gonna taste. eat a piece without the salsa. Okay. That's my piece. <laughs> hey, That's my piece. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, the mustard makes a huge difference. Did you get a mustard bite? Yes, I did. I did. Who would that have thought? That makes a difference. It's a, I or, used a honey mustard. It just calls for Dijon. Uh-huh. And this one is a honey Dijon, but I think that, that it makes a huge difference. Oh my goodness. Let me take a bite with salsa. Salsa wins in my book. And remember, you can put, you can use bacon, you can use ham. You could put uh, veggies, I mean, onions in it onions, if you wanted to. Um, peppers, any kind of you sure could. veggies. Yummy mm. dare bear. <coughs> Good. Mm. I thought it was a little hot. I'm gonna get a drink. You may need. I, I forgot. Debbie needs maybe need some mild salsa. Maybe I need some mild salsa. Ooh, that did set me afar. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna have the recipe down in the comments, and um, this is great, Deb. Thank you. And I really easy. I mean, it, it was is really, really easy. It, it looks like it's gonna be something that's so hard to do. Mm -hmm. Couldn't believe how easy it is to do that roll. It really it's, is. It's all in the parchment paper. Mm -hmm. Leave you some extra on the <coughs> ends. Get a hold of it and roll it. Just get it started mm -hmm. and get, get it kind of tight when you first flip yeah. it, flip the roll over and just pull your paper and it rolls up for you. So when, it's really easy. <clears throat> when my brother-in-law taught us how to do pumpkin rolls, he taught me and my sister how to do pumpkin rolls. And we used a dish towel. He would, oh, okay. Like, put it on the dish towel and roll it Same up in the dish idea. towel. And so. you have to let those cool a little bit, don't you? Yep. I've made a, uh, M Beverly had a party uh -huh. years ago, and I made one at hers. I think it was a cherry almond roll or something. It was a dessert roll. You did that. And I made that at a party. It was, this okay, was really good. So. so try this, and um, I promise you will like it. Yes, for sure. See y'all. Bye. Bye.